Formula One drivers have different preferences for their steering wheels. Let's take a look at Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton's with Dom Harlow, our Formula One technical expert. So we're starting uh, with a 2013 wheel contrasted with the 2014 design uh, used by Mercedes. Obviously the display has changed from the PCU6 to the PCU8. Um, the overall size of the wheel has actually shrunk um, but packs all the same functionality and more in. Um, so the display, you can see the shift lights, uh, the LCD TFT display with the gear number and various other um, bars and sliders to give the driver information about the state of charge of the uh, ERS, for example. And that screen obviously was important this year because of uh, the pit radios being banned. So, yeah, critical to get more information to the driver, um, particularly without the use of the, the radio. So conventional paddles on the back of the wheel, um, upshift and, uh, and clutch on the right, downshift and uh, clutch on the left. Only four paddles for uh, Nico and slight difference between the two driver layouts, so Rosberg using a larger shift paddle. If we put the two wheels side by side, we can see the difference in the rotary and, uh, and button layouts. Nine rotaries, 14 um, push buttons available. So Rosberg's got uh, differential adjustment, overtake function, brake balance to the rear, neutral button, radio button, brake balance to the front, and uh, on the top right, DRS. Uh, DRS. So on the uh, thumb wheels, he's got um, further adjustment for his diff, different corner phases. Um, we've moved down to the pick confirm button, and then the main uh, three rotaries there, there's an engine strategy, multifunction, and uh, a recovery strategy. He's got a data marker um, and an acknowledgement and then some different settings for uh, his engine recovery. So now we've got Lewis's wheel. Notice the uh, gold thumb wheels left and right uh, that give him the brake balance and uh, brake balance map adjustment. He's still got diff uh, on thumb wheels, DRS on the left hand side and then the um, buttons for adjusting the multifunction menu. He's got neutral, um, pit speed limiter and uh, pick confirm right up there on the top right so it gives him quick access to that um, just a diff and then the brake balance that we talked about um, race start mode uh, which he uses uh, on the grid at the end of the formation lap uh, the same engine strategy selection multi-function and recovery strategy as, as Nico um, a radio reset button in case they have any faults and um, just moving up on the left hand side an acknowledge button and back to the uh, brake rotary that's what he forgot to reset when he spun in, in Brazil there, when he was coming in for that pit stop. He's got more sophisticated brake balance than Rosberg, is not he? Yeah, there's a more uh, sort of uh, complicated way of setting up the brake balance for uh, Lewis. He can move the overall balance forwards and rearwards, but he can also change the characteristic that he gets on the uh, braking. 